recording. Hello and welcome, we are playing Living End in Modern. Yeah, oh, you sweet summer child, that is exactly what happened. Okay, let's keep this. It is a modern player's rite of passage. Yeah, what is the list of things that, if you have played modern, you, you learned that these happen? Like, you had to learn the hard way at some point. It was a sad story. It was also for an event that mattered. I think it was like a, I don't know, Thoughtseize. I guess they're gonna take my violent outburst, I suppose. Yeah, Chalice owns my life. I don't think there's a card that has owned me as much as Chalice has owned me lifetime. Yeah, they took my violent outburst, sure. Uh, let's cycle this Wraith. We got a stomping ground. Cycle the Wraith. We got another Demonic Dread. Dope. Another Shriek Maw. So let's play Stomping Ground tapped. I do not want to pay for it. And pass. Oh, bolting a goif when it's a 2-3 and there's no incident in the yard? Yes. This will be a funny video. Maybe maybe we should collect some of these and turn them into a funny video. Like five things that you have, five mistakes that you have had to make in modern before you like are proficient at the format. A bob. Uh, we're, this is destroying on black, right? Uh, bob is black. Yeah, we'll just play Cliffs. Scry off Mulligan while holding on to fetch. Yes. Scry. I kind of want to write these down. Scry off Mulligan while having a fetch. Uh, bolting a goif. That's a 2 3. And no instant in the yard. <laughs> Countering the cascade spell. Losing to burn with a Leyland of Sanctity in play. <laughs> I feel like that one's not as common, but it definitely does happen. Scry off the top with your ambitions and cracking a fetch. Yeah, I have that one. It's scry off a mulligan and then and then fetching. That also happens a bunch. Overgrown tomb. I guess I'll play my Bloodstained Mire. I'll take two from that Bob just because I want to. Removing island from scape shift. Destroying Urza's tower because they always have the second in hand. <laughs> I didn't know what Splinter Twin did when tapped out on turn three. That's great. Bobbing a Tassiger is a new fun one. Using twelves in the turn to Chalice. I'm gonna take two from this bob and I'm gonna violent outburst at the end of the turn. This means that they can't actually like cast anything. Oh yeah, they're playing a creature, it's gonna be great. Dope. Crack this. Blocking a Sarah Ascendant with our opponent with opponent on 29 life. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh what do we wanna get? I think just like a swamp. Yeah. And go. One, two, three. Huzzah! Forgetting buys of vast with stops twin. Fetch shock thoughts his opponents playing bird. Yes! Oh my god, that was so true. Fetch, fetch, shock, thought sees. Opponent is on burn. <laughs> that was so good. I would like to cast this. Oh yeah, you can try to steal stuff with Spell Skite, and that is, you activate the Spell Skite, but it's not a legal target. Oh, that was a sick play by our opponent. They bolted their own Bob so that this Living End can get that Bob back. Which is honestly, like, fine and not a big deal. Um, I think we're also going to hard cast that Samian Spirit Guide. So, attack with both Street Wraiths. I'm um, hard casting mean Spirit Gut, I think. 
picking Wilt, Wilt Leaf Liege on the turn one Thoughtseize. Yeah, I was gonna say, is there something with like discarding that you learned that you shouldn't do? Yeah, straight rave with the swamp walk. How you like me now, Vance guy? So the the funny ones that we have so far is scry of a mulligan while having a fetch, bolting a goyf that's a two three with no instant in the yard. Cast. Does forgetting a delver trigger count? I think it's more like don't, forgetting a delver trigger is like fine. I mean, you forget triggers all the time. These are just kind of things that you you like. Once you've played enough modern, like, this has happened to you at some point, and it's just, like, either a very painful experience, or, like I said, you know, trying to counter ca the Cascade spell and not living end. Thank you, Hunter. Appreciate it. Yeah, the, this, the artist that makes these is dope. Wow, Scavenging Goose is good against us. We don't really care about that guy, though. Uh, I'm gonna evoke. I can't hard cast architect so well. I'm gonna. Oh wait, do I just? Oh, uh, they must have a way to kill one of my street rates. Cause I can force the Bob into. Missing the basic search off of Path to Exile. Oh my gosh, there's gotta be something with, like, Leon and Arbiter. But that's online. Like, you search with Leon and Arbiter and then didn't pay. That's, like, the experience online. Cast with Evoke. Dobbs. Path Gold Cord something EOT when opponent has voice and play. Yes! <laughs> Card hard casting something against voice. Uh, they chose not to activate the scavenging ooze, which means they have like a terminate for one of these. I kind of like don't want to attack with my simian spirit guide, because I also feel like they are probably just going to die to their own bob. Forgetting to pay two on Arbiter, or just getting owned by I even mind sensor, that's going to be, yeah, this is terminate, yeah, I like it. Playing with Liana the Veil against the Crystal Brand, like, hey Grimnar. You have the wrong fetch land out, and they play blood. Let's see if they die to their bob trigger. Die, die, die. Bam! Tarmogoyf. You have the wrong fetch land when they play blood moon, and you cut yourself off of the color you need. Yes, that's true. Forgetting to crack fetches in response to blood moon. That's so true. Yes, I will add that one. Forgetting to crack fetch lands in response to blood moon. Okay, uh, so against Jund, dying to a pact, yeah, paid a search for Arbiter, then Vile Flipper was to blink Arbiter. Oh god, I get Arbiter like half the time it's in play, it's super annoying. Yeah, dude, but that, that I feel like is a magic online experience, like forgetting to play for Arbiter, like that's a magic online experience. Oh, doing stuff in response to Pithing Needle, yeah, that's, that's, that's for sure. Not as relevant now, but showing up to an event and realizing that you forgot to bring some dredge hate. <laughs> Fetching them bases in response to Blood Moon. <laughs> Not that I've done that, stop looking at me. Uh, what do you think... Oh, Gooey Ducks, the way... I'll tell you how Arbiter works online. Give me one second, let's just... Uh... Ricochet Trap is not for this matchup. Ingot Chewer, I don't think so. I like the Shriek Moss because they killed uh, your... There oozes. Do we want brindle boars? Yes, Liliana took up opponent discards Baylothar Smiter. That's totally a thing too. Oh my gosh, cracking a fetch land without illegal targets. Yes, cracking a fe fetch land. Cra cracking a fetch land, failing to find. That's super true. I don't know what I want to cut. They're gonna have a bunch of Fulminator mages, huh? Mm. I 
I don't think we won fairy macabs. I think we won like a brindle boar. Uh, yeah, the fairy macabs look like they don't do very much. We could bring four Leyline of the Void, actually. We hose their goives and stuff. Let's try this, and if not, maybe we'll bring in Leyline of the Void. I'm not sure. I uh, sideboard all this stuff is hard. How do you feel it stacks up to Ninja Tech? I'm not sure, Airship Engineer. Uh, my guess is that Drudge Tech is probably better. Hey, Nabal! Hi Gabby, you are by far my favorite MTG streamer. Mm. P.S. Try out Coco Elves in Modern if you want something different. Thank you so much, Nabil. I do like Elves. I've played that with BK some. Not Coco. Oh, I guess it usually plays Coco. I was going to say, it also has Lead the Stampede. I do like that deck. Maybe we'll try that next time. Good night, Captain. Have a good one. So this hand is kind of Garbo. We do have the Demonic Dread and one Street Wraith, but it's all lands. I think we have to mulligan this. This seems not great. We have no cyclers. Oh, sorry, we have Architects of Will and a Beast Within. I think we keep this. That's living in. We can probably keep this on top. You guys, I want one of our emotes to be called Garbo, and I just want it to be like a garbage can with like a dumpster fire coming out of it. Thoughtsies. Lame. Hey, I am Pterodactyl. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Choosing not to block the infect creature at zero points because there's no way they have it. That's so true, the one guy. Oh my god. Yeah, I just wanted to be a trash can with just like all this fire coming out of the trash can. Hey, GG. Ooh, 13 months. That's a special one. I kid you not, I delivered to this place called Garbo Salon. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play a copper language here and pass. Thank you so much, G-Jibs. Zero, zero, 001. I really appreciate it. Since this is your 13th month subscription, guess what, son? You get yourself a nice cupcake. We have three cupcakes today. Squirrel, Pawn of Death, and Gigi. Ooh, dark Confidant. Dark Confidant. So Magic TV today. Top eight ways to get into modern. We're getting spells get can to write modular trigger where you're playing affinity. That's true. Oh, this is so lame. They're gonna take our demonic dread. Okay, it's okay, we'll fulminator mage him. Goif, another bob. Okie dokie, smoky. You know, straight rate is, d is dope. Cycle, let's pay two. Another blood sting mark. Can we please stop drawing lands? Let's just get a mountain, I think. Do, 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 do. I kind of want to block and sack so that we don't take damage, but I also don't want to let him have green, so I think I'm just gonna sack this now. Hopefully, Tarmogoyf and Tarmogoyf? Did they reveal two Tarmogoyfs? No, Tarmogoyf and Inquisition. So Inquisition takes our beast within, and they can't play Tarmogoyf. For getting Kataki tax and drawing a card. Letting opponent draw when you have Lantern and Codex Shredder and play a 3 life bolt on top. <laughs> Calc. It happens to everybody, Calc. Play a Bloodstained Mire. What did they do, real quick? They played a Raging Ravine and they Inquisitioned our Beast within. Gabby's dad phrasing is on point. I say okie dokie smokey a lot. 
keep path and terminate against hexproof that yes yes how about getting owned against like the, the dryad arbor that looks like a forest invoke the moss and the message oh they can't take it taste it Tupperware, Tupperware, Tupperware. <laughs> Court for target that you took out of your deck. Oh my god. That sounds great, actually. Oh my god. Regenerate a creature response to damnation, Wrath of God. Yes. Let's get Stomping Ground. No, Overgrown too. I would not like to pay. Simeon Spirit Guide? Yeah, I guess we'll hard cast them. Oh, how about like gaining infinite life through a combo losing anyway? Forgot an exalted trigger and lose by one point. Ah, uh, terminate. Rip. We're just dead, right? This cost. I guess we were dead if they have a land. If they just animate the ravine and send in with two bobs. What did they find? Rakdos Charm. Tireless Tracker. Rip, they animate their Rage and Ravine here. Dude, if only we had Bolt there, that would have been sweet. Hey, buddy, it's Gabby. BK, we're talking about what are the things, like, what are the things that you had to experience as a magic player that ha like the things that had to happen to you in modern before you felt like okay I, I like I feel like I understand this format now so one of the things that we were talking about is when you attempt to counter when you attempt to counter the cascade spell instead of actually countering living end or bolting a goif that's a 2-3 and there's no instant in the graveyard um, scrying off of a mulligan while having a fetch and blight and fetching forgetting to fetch in response to blood moon Cracking a fetch land, failing to find. Oh my gosh, yes, Luis, that one's so good. Sighting in Graph Digger's Cage Against Living End. That's so true. Sighting in... Graph Digger's Cage Against Living End. <laughs> Thinking you can still win a law game against Lantern Control. <laughs> Dealing too much damage to yourself with suicide so even if a player kills you with regular- No, die to- Yes, that one's true, but it's not even with suicide too. It's dying to regular damage from infect. Casting a spell in response to standstill trigger. Named Simeon Spirit Guide on Pithing Needle. Alright, I'll send it in. Countering a spell with hive mind in play. Use their removal on kitchen fix and have them combo off in response. Yeah, that's pretty good. I would like to play first. Um, well, we can cycle a lot with this, so I think I'm in interested in keeping it. Casting an instant in response to lunar force trigger. Lunar force isn't even like that common though. Nice. Good draw, good draw, good draw. Death Swung Lethal with Skite. Against many a zoo. <laughs> Setting Chalice on three and then trying to play Thirst for now. <laughs> Inquisition of Kozilek. Yeah, we can't stop this. They're gonna take our Violin Outburst. We were gonna have a super quick living in. That's a bummer. Dealing lethal to yourself, redirecting Lightning Storms with Spell Skite. Holding a counter spell too long against. Yep. So this cycles for black, but this cycles for red. So we can go copper line gorge, 
Cycled is for red. Whoa, 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 what's going on? This is not doing what I wanted to cycle. Yes. Lightning Storm's a good one, yeah, for, for getting Kataki triggers. You know this one, Gabby. Paying for two engineered explosives thinking it's like Chalice. Yes! <laughs> I totally did that. Um, we could Demonic Dread now. They're going to have a hard time coming back from this. We go Exile Simian Spirit Guide, Exile Simian Spirit Guide. Oh, we can't. There's no creature for us to target. And we should be cycling at the end of the turn, you're right. Uh, I'll just cycle Architects of Will at the end of their turn. Hopefully they play a creature. I keep doing this in part is because I'm... What I like to do in Magic Online, this is not a good habit, obviously, is do all my stuff. Damn it. Got punished. We wouldn't have a target anyway, but... Yeah, Jiffy Pop, the question you're giving scenarios for are what are the, like, the most basic mistakes that you'll always make when you first get into modern, like things that it's almost like you're hazing, the things that you're gonna have to cycle. Deadshot Minotaur can't cycle that quite just yet. Play at cliffs. Yeah, so part of the reason I do that is because I like to um do stuff on my turn and I can pass and then I can pay attention to the chat when I'm my opponent's turn, but obviously when I'm playing a deck like Living and that's really a bad idea. Fulminator Mage, sure. Beast within, sure. living end damn i'm trying to kill the infight creature during combat yeah that always ends up very poorly i have not played the nurses on dead by daylight yet. i don't really play killer very much astronomy says playing irrelevant land while keeping one spell in hand when they still have an active lily in play yes that one is so true I can't suspend living it. Oh, I could suspend living end, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Casting Apostle's Blessing to my Glistener Elf with Rancor on it, giving it pro green. Yeah, Vinther, we have that one down. That was like, th that was actually what sparked this whole conversation. Um. Yeah, I think maybe we'll suspend living in. I mean, it takes three turns, but we have so much stuff in the yard. We have Carabid, Carabid, Architect's Wool, Deadshot, Minotaur. Like, it will be good when we actually hit it. So, no, don't apologize, Vinther. I was just letting you know that that is actually what sparked this conversation. Uh, fixed all. What we have so far is scrying off of a mulligan while having a fetch and fetching. Bolting a goyf that's a 2-3 with no instant in the yard. Uh, countering the cascade spell and not living end. Going fetch, shock, thought, sees opponent is on burn. Uh, forgetting to crack fetch lands in response to blood moon. Cracking a fetch land, failing to find. Uh, choosing not to block that infect creature at zero poison because there's no way they have it. <laughs> and sighting in graft digger's cage against living end. Tireless Tracker? Sure. We're probably gonna have to beast within that guy. Fulminator Mage? I guess we don't care too much about the Tireless Tracker. We could just Fulminator Mage uh, blow up their Raging Ravine. And we have what? How many two suspend counters on this thing?
Yeah, I can't be them for obvious reasons. We, we won't be in the Tyler Striker. I think I just have to play. I think BK would be a really good source for so he'll probably be more useful after GBND. <laughs> Louise, you're so mean. You're so mean. I'm gonna plan to block and sack the tireless tracker. I don't want them to trade because I want my living end to be better than theirs. Be that clue. <laughs> Yes, that's so true. Having opponent cast Vendillion click, you throw your hand down, and then they were planning on targeting themselves. That That is so good. That one's so good. Okay. Block. They'll probably crack a clue here. Yeah, I will sack Destroy Raging Ravine. I feel like I can make a funny video, a funny YouTube video with this. Sounds like gas. Having your opponent remind you of triggers, suspends, and whatnot. Should be bad experience in my life. Okay, one suspend counter on Living End. We can play Bloodstained Mire. Probably Hardcast or Monkey. Getting owned by a blood moon that could have been easily avoided. I think our mana monkey is dead. Oh no, they're just cracking a clue, that's fine. Our living end is gonna be dope. Having your opponent blind mill a card you were going to tutor for and losing as a result. <laughs> oh, I know monkey is dying, I just want monkey to block. Maybe beast the ravine before living and comes off the spend. The ravine's dead. I killed it with Fulminator Mage. I killed it dead. Yeah, ravine is dubs. Uh, yeah, I think our opponent should have not attacked Fulminator Mage. Sure. Well, they're gonna get two Fulminator Mages in play. Non-basic. I guess we don't have a choice. They'll probably get our cliffs. We might as well get blood crypt because they're gonna target they're gonna try to target our green source no matter what, right? I guess I should have not cracked it, and then if they targeted it, I could have just like sacrificed in response to Overgrown Tomb. I should have not cracked the land. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, BK. Hey Chris. Instead I'm just gonna get a blood crypt now. Living in is a really cool example of how you can build a deck out of really bad cards. Yes, all the cards in this deck are quite bad. In before Waste and Strangler processing the Living End. Okay, so uh, Fulminator Mage killed our land. I shouldn't have fetched now. You have a way to kill our Tireless Tracker? Well, we got owned. Uh, let's not cast it. Click the card to cast it. I would not like to cast it. I can choose to ca not cast living in, right? Hmm. Can I decline the cast?
You don't get a choice? Well... Oh well. They have two Fulminator Mages? Oh, we're dead. We can't come back from this game. It's not a mage trigger. Rip. Okay. Only may off Cascade. I learned something new today. Cool, that'll do it for this round.